What's up guys? It's Amelia. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys what I do for my no foundation makeup routine. I don't like wearing foundation every day. It's something I try to avoid. I really love when my skin is able to breathe. So this is one of my go-to looks for when I want to look absolutely fabulous without putting on all the foundation. So if you guys want to see what I do for my no foundation makeup routine, then just keep watching. So the very first thing I like to do is put on some primer. I really love this Becca backlight priming filter. Not only does it kind of blur your pores a little bit, but it adds a really healthy, beautiful glow that I just love. So I'm going to be taking my Real Techniques Beauty sponge and applying a decent amount of this primer, and then I'm just going to dab it all over the face. On days where I don't want to look like as glowy or if I'm rushing out the door, I tend to only put this primer on areas I know I'm going to be applying concealer. Speaking of concealer, I'm going to be using my Bare Minerals Concealer with SPF 20, which is great for the summer. I'm using the shade Bisque and I love taking this Bare Minerals Blurring Buffer Brush. This these two pieces, it's a lethal combo. It applies it so beautifully. It literally just melts into your skin. So I'm only gonna be taking a little bit and swirling my brush, tapping off any excess. And then the area I always go for first is my nose. As you can see, there's just a bunch of redness always by my nose. Ugh, it's annoying. So this is one area I want looking good. So I kind of just tap it at first. Like I just tap the product, kind of pack it in. And then I do a very gentle kind of swirl and spread it kind of onto these surrounding areas. But I really pack it on where I want the redness covered up. I also like to go underneath my nose because I find that there's just a lot of redness from acne scarring underneath as well. And then I will go ahead and do this with my blemishes. On days where I actually am a little self-conscious and I just don't want my blemishes showing, I will go in with a more intense concealer. The one I really like is the Instant Age Rewind by Maybelline. I am in the shade Light Pale. On days where I'm not using foundation, I do tend to go for a more natural look, a more like I just came from the beach. Yes, I look a little rough, but I'm still gorgeous kind of look. Does that make sense? So I also apply this anywhere I have any blemishes or just redness in general like my whole chin just needs work <laughs> a little bit on my cheeks next I like to work on the eye area on days I look really tired like today I'm very tired there's some very much so bags under my eyes right now I really love using the Becca under eye concealer so I just take a little bit with my finger and I start at the middle and kind of just apply outwards as you can see this eye looks so much brighter, so much more awake than the other one. And then I like to go in with an eye primer. I'm currently using Smashbox's 24 hour photo finish eye primer, which is almost gone. I just gently apply this onto the eyelids. And honestly, I mostly do this because my eyelids get really, really oily throughout the day. And that's something I cannot stand. So this is really good at just getting rid of that problem. Next, I like to kind of set my under eye area. So I will go in with Tarte's Smooth Operator. A lot of people say this has flashback. I personally haven't noticed it and I know on a daily basis like no one's taking my picture with flash. So I just take my damp beauty sponge and then pack this kind of underneath the eyes a little bit. This will really help smooth out your pores and your under eye area. So I will go ahead and just very lightly kind of use it on my entire face. Then I will also apply some to the tops of my eyelids to get them ready for a little bit of color up there. Next, I like to go in with some contour. So I'm gonna be using a Too Faced Chocolate Soile. And I'm gonna be using my little Sephora brush. I'm just going to be very gently kind of sculpting out my cheeks going up the temple. This is just gonna add all the color to my face. I'm going for that very sun-kissed kind of look. Add some to the top of the forehead as well. Then add just a little bit to my nose. And then I will usually go in with a Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush. I don't know, I just honestly pick a color I'm really feeling. I've been loving the dainty one. So I will just very gently kind of pat it onto the skin. And I kind of go to town with the blush. I don't know, I just feel like the blush kind of makes it look like you're a little sunburned. You just been to the beach, it's great. So I will pack a little bit kind of on the bridge of my nose as well. Don't worry, I know it looks intense now. And I also kind of apply a little bit to my temples as well. And then I also really like to mix it with the angelic shade. I just find this shade just 
blends it beautifully. Okay, then I'm gonna be working on my eyes. Normally when I do no foundation looks, it's because I'm either A, feeling super, super lazy, or B, in a huge rush. So I usually don't grab an eyeshadow palette, but I will grab the bronzer. Just take a fluffy brush, grab my bronzer, start kind of at the outer V and then just blend it into the crease. And then I'll do the exact same thing, go in with the blushes that I decided to use. So I'm gonna go into Dainty and a bit of Angelic and kind of just tap it on the entire lid. And then I will take a fluffy brush and kind of just blend it out to make sure there are no rough edges. Then I typically go for a pencil liner. So I'm just gonna be taking this brown one by NYX and applying it to a majority of my upper lash line. Normally I go a little past halfway and apply it all the way to my outer corner, but that's about it. I don't usually go all the way in. It's just like a little past halfway. This just gives a lot more definition as you can see. I also like to go on the outer third and blend. Then I just take my bronzer and apply it to the lower lash line, kind of blending in that eyeliner I used. And this I apply to the whole lower lash line. And then to blend everything together, I go back into my Tarte Smooth Operator and I take a big Kabuki brush. This one's by Too Faced. It is seriously my favorite Kabuki brush on this planet. So I just take the powder, dust it off, and I kind of start at my chin line and just blend up this makes sure I have no harsh lines anywhere. Next, I go in with the highlight. I love taking the Anastasia Amrezi highlight, and I also kind of go a little crazy with the highlight as well. You don't have to, but I personally love it. On the tip of the nose, a little bit on the bridge. I also like to take this and kind of put it on the inner corner of my eye and then a little bit on the actual lid, just a very little bit, and then blending it out with my finger and putting it onto my brow bone. Now I'm gonna be taking the Kat Von D Signature Brow Pencil in the shade Dark Brown and filling in my brows. I absolutely love this brow pencil. Then I'm gonna curl my lashes, and one of my go-to mascaras for this kind of look is the Smashbox Super Fan Mascara. I do find that this mascara does take a little longer to dry, but honestly, it's so worth it. <laughs> oh, see, look it, I already got a spot. And one of my new favorite lip products is the Sephora Rouge Fondant Clicks Melting Lip Clicks. This is amazing. I really hope it comes back to Sephora.com. And this is in the shade number one caramel. It's just a really, really natural lip. And then for days where I really want my highlighter to pop, I am gonna go in with my Tarte highlighter. And I really like to go and mix Burst and Gleam together just for that extra oomph of highlight. There we go. Then I like to go in with my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. And I like to give my face a really good spritz so that everything just kind of melts into the skin. And to make sure everything stays in place, I'm gonna go in with Urban Decay's All Nighter Setting Spray. Now, if you wanna leave everything this dewy and glowy, it is a gorgeous look, but I do like to mattify my skin personally. So I'm gonna go back into Tarte's Smooth Operator one last time and just kind of dab my T-zone, the cheeks, anywhere that I don't want like super crazy shiny. Then I love to let my hair down and volumize it. So it has that beautiful beachy wave thing kind of going on. <laughs> and this is the finished look. All right, you guys, so that is the end of my video. I really, really hope you enjoyed this look. If you do, please give this video a big thumbs up. It really, really does help support my channel. And question of the video, what makeup product do you love using for just a super natural makeup look? Please let me know down in the comments below. Also, if you are new to my channel, hi. I'm Amelia. <laughs> if you guys want to see more beauty, lifestyle, and just fun videos, please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button right down below. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you next time.